first and foremost, I'd like to thank the families, um, families of, first of all, the coaches who gave, gave up a lot of time for the coaches to be out on the road. Um, that, that's, that's very important. Our guys, our guys do a lot of hard work, and I'm very thankful for our coaches for all they've done. But, but it's those families that really take the time to make those sacrifices that, that I really can't say enough about, including some of the, the wives and then families of the other of the other coaches along with my own wife case. Um, another thing is that I think it's very important that we thank the kids as families who put their trust in us as coaches. Um, we feel we have an excellent class, um, and, and it, but everyone says that every year. Everyone says this is the best class we've ever had. And I don't know as far as talent if it's the best, but it fits a lot of needs. I think before we were always looking to get the most talented guy. So let's find as much talent as we can get and figure it out. Whereas this time we looked at what do we actually need to complete our roster. And you look on the you look as far as who we signed. We signed a lot of tight ends, signed some defensive linemen, we signed we signed some some offensive linemen, guys that really fit needs. Um, we had only two quarterbacks on the roster, we signed a quarterback. We only had two tight ends on the roster, we signed two tight ends. So it's nice to get some needs met. It's also nice to get get guys who are great character guys. Um, very few of these guys, bad words were said about them from the coaches. Everyone said they were uh, class presidents, top of the class, 25 ACT, uh, help out in the community. So that, that was an important thing for us to get guys that really fit a lot of needs as far as what we want to do. And also character guys that we know it's going to come in and get a lot better once they're here. Can you go over the logistics, how many guys that you've gotten at least letters from, if you're expecting any more? Yeah, uh, we're at 19 right now. Um, now, Division II is a little, always different. You'll have some trickling all spring. Uh, we're at 19 today. We're expecting a couple more this afternoon. Can't really comment on those names. Um, but look, we feel that we're probably 90% completed where we're at. Uh, we're we're going to be around 20, 21 today, probably 30 before the end of spring. Do you see any of these guys starting this year? Or well, we definitely didn't promise that to them. Uh, now, there, there's some guys that you take a Daryl Johnson, who's 6'3", 340 pound nose. He's a guy that physically has the gifts to step in and be able to play. And usually that's a concern with a lot of younger guys, it's just how physically are they developing. A guy that's 6'3", 340 pounds, how much bigger can you really get? So he's a guy that physically can come in and do it. But again, nothing's promised. and. and and we're expecting big things from the whole class, but you never really know until we get here. It seems like a lot of the classes um, from outside of the state just kind of talk about the way you guys went about recruiting this year. Well, we, what we try and say is, is we, we're trying to draw a six hour radius from Concord. And, and I know you notice, you notice one kid from Okeechobee, Florida. But for, other than that, the rest of the class is within six hours of here. And that's what we tried to address. And we feel that a kid that lives in southwestern Virginia or a kid that lives in Anywhere in Virginia, northern North Carolina, we feel that those kids are our type of kids. We feel that as far as culture, environment, they're coming from the same type of background. And those are kids that ultimately stay and get better. And that's what we're trying to do. Um, and again, I think more West Virginia kids will come in. It's just a matter of us, us trying to, we, we wanted to stay local, but at the same time, we weren't totally scared of going out the state. We're talking to you guys about Wyrick out of Princeton, a guy from Woodrell, a guy from the Meadowbridge, just kind of talk about you know, the importance of the recruiting. Yeah, it, it is important because those guys take pride in the program. Those guys, when they grew up, some of those guys dreamed of playing at Concord. When a lot of these other guys grew up, they dreamed of playing at NC State or Virginia Tech or WU. So it's important to get guys that are going to have pride in the school, guys that have pride in the community, guys that can really take uh, – of P.J. Jones from Winston-Salem and then say, hey, this is this is what Concord's about. This is the background. And now those guys take pride in the program, and then you get something special. Hey, hey, the conference two years ago, finishing last year strong. You know, has that made recruiting easier? It's definitely easier today than it was four years ago. Uh, four years ago, we were trying to sell a dream. We had an 11 team that we are trying to sell a dream of, you know, one day we'll be conference champions. Now. Now we're flipping and say one day we'll be national champions, and that's bold, but, but that's where we have to have our minds at. That's where we got to go. That's where we have to believe we need to go.